Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's your boy. Ever King, and we back, and this is Gabos Reacts with another one. Uh, we got Brad Williams Fun Size. Never heard Brad Williams before, never seen his stand up comedy performances. Um, apparently, he's a little person. Um, one of my subscribers asked me to, you know, react to one of his content, so I'm gonna give him a shot. I'm gonna give him a shot, and we're gonna see what this guy is made of. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we're gonna get right into it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You know the vibes. But you, all right, this guy better be funny. He better be funny. Please welcome to the stage, Brad Williams! Got a lot of energy. How we feeling out there? <laughs> Hell yeah, you guys are happy. You guys are psyched. Of course you're happy. You know right now your story beats any one of your friends, no matter what the hell they're doing tonight. <laughs> They'll call you up tomorrow. Should have hung out with us, man. We went I like his to energy. a strip club. They had a one arm stripper. She had a cartwheel. It was ridiculous. <laughs> what kind of lame shit did you do? Oompa Loompa made me laugh. Fuck off. You win, okay? Exactly. You're happy, but of course you're happy. You've got a little person in front of you right now. People are always happy when they see midgets. You can't help it. A lot of you don't know who I am, don't know what TV shows I've been on, but I walk on stage, you're like, this is gonna be good. <laughs> you see a midget, you're happy. You can't help it. No one's ever seen a midget and yelled out, well, now my day has gone to hell. That has not happened. You see this, you're smiling, you're laughing. You know it's a good shot. You got a parade and some candy coming your way. You're happy as hell doesn't matter you can get fired from your job find out your wife is blowing some other dude you walk down the street you see me you're just <laughs> <laughs> Yo. that's why we are not using midgets properly in this country Yo. <laughs> we have normal jobs we should not i'll give them one point for that normal jobs they should be giving midgets to cancer patients <laughs> How awesome would that be? Oh, Sorry, God. sir, I discovered you have cancer. Damn it, here's your midget. Fuck you! <laughs> oh. A lot of you didn't like that joke at first. <laughs> then I finished it, you're like, we, we will absolutely support that charity. We will support that. <laughs> we should do a 5K. We should do a 5K. They're dwarfs. We should do a two and a half K. We should do a two and a half K. Just, just a random, like, just, I guess, observation from the outside looking in. I don't know how it feels to be a little person, but you kind of know, like, how the world perceives them and the fact that they're always, like, going to be a certain height. They've, they've been subjected to bullying, criticizing, criticism, pardon me. And just for this guy to, to find his niche in comedy, like he's already short, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he's already short, you know, and to, to be able to like find like this, um, I guess this happy place within this world of just trying to figure out who the hell you want to be and to use his size for comedy is just it's growth. You know, like, you know, this dude's been through some shit and to find comedy as his thing, considering he's already short and people are always going to judge him regardless. It's dope, man. It's dope. So I'll give him that. Cause it takes a lot of courage to get on stage if you're just normal height. But to be a midget or a little person. Come on, man. Come on. I'd give him a round of applause just for having the guts to do this. And that's true. I do make people happier. I just show one time a woman came up to me after the show and said, Brad, you're funny. I run a children's hospital. I would love it if you came down to the children's hospital, entertained the children, brought them some smiles. I said, yes, that's perfect. I mean, hell, you guys have known me now for a few minutes, and you know my act is perfect for the fucking kids. All right? <laughs> So I say, I'll do it. I go to the children's <laughs> hospital. I'm exaggerating nothing. I walk into that door. A kid walks up to me, puts his hand on my shoulder and goes, don't worry, they'll fix you here. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. 
Apparently you're not allowed to karate chop the sick kid, okay? You're not allowed to do that. Why did you, I'm there on my Saturday giving up my free time to help him. He's got to piss on my self-esteem. And, and it happened over and over again. I was walking around the hospital. There would be all these kids. I mean, God bless them. They'd be walking around, dragging their oxygen tanks behind them like that. Then they would look up and see me and go, Jesus, glad I don't have that. Oh my God, that would suck. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. But I get it. Oh, I man. understand. I understand why people are excited when they see a little person. I totally get it because when I'm walking around and I see another little person, I get excited too. <laughs> I do. Then you guys see two of us. You get ridiculously excited. You're like, oh my God, there's two. Mm. I hope they do a trick. I, I really hope they do a trick. <laughs> I do, I get excited when I see another little person. I'm not thinking about this constantly. It's not always on my mind. I don't walk around all day in my head, just I'm gonna make it up, 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 I'm gonna make it up. Yo, what's wrong with him, yo? I know, if your life had a DVR, you would have all 30 seconds back right there. I'm gonna make it up, I'm gonna make it up, I'm gonna make it up. Yo! <laughs> oh my god, I man. I get it. So, uh, and, and when I'm walking around and I see a little person, I get happy. Now, if the other dwarf I see is a male, if I see a male little person, I get excited. But at the same time, I know I have to fight him. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I don't want to fight him. He doesn't want to fight me. But we lock eyes. We're like, it's go time. Like, why? <laughs> Maybe dwarves are like Highlanders. Like, there can be only one. I, I don't know. Now, if I'm walking around and I see another little person and it happens to be a female, if I see a female little person, I get excited. You guys get quiet. <laughs> you see two little people come together. You're just like, oh, my God. This is like National Geographic Channel come to life. <laughs> Shh, don't say anything. You'll scare him. It's his mating season. <laughs> now, you would think that that might offend me. It does not offend me. I'm going to fuck that female little person, okay? <laughs> It's happening. When it comes to dwarf pussy, I am a Dyson vacuum. I don't miss a damn thing. No. 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 I like this guy. I fucking like this guy, man. <laughs> Yo. It's happening. But yeah. Brad, she's a woman. She has a choice. Mm. What if she doesn't want to sleep with you? Are you kidding me? I'm in the top five midgets in show business. She's fucking me, okay? <laughs> it's happening. I'm top five. I'm not number one. I don't have delusions of grandeur, okay? I know where I am, all right? Number one, Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones. I love that, too. Yeah, exactly. Great show. I got to get into that show. I still haven't number caught up to Number two is this guy named Wee Man from Jackass. He's pretty cool. Some of you know who he is. Some of you are just now realizing that I am not Wee Man from Jackass. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Number three is a guy named Warwick Davis. He was in a movie called Willow, an HBO show called Life is Short. There you go. Number four. That's me. Uh, I'm number four. It's not bad. And then number five is the chick. Damn it, what the hell is the chick's name? No, the dwarf chick. Oh, yeah, Justin Bieber. That, Bruh. That is a hot bitch. I want to do bad things to that woman. She is cute. Obviously, that's a joke. Uh, but I said that one night at a comedy club in Hollywood, California. I didn't know this. Bieber was in the audience that night, and he did not like that joke. <laughs> He did not like it. He walked up to me after the show. He's like, you're a son of a bitch, eh? That was not very nice of you to say to me. He's dragging it. <laughs> I love that that's a true story. <laughs> I like this guy. So yeah, nah, this guy was funny. Fun size part one. I'm going to react to part two at some point. Probably tonight. Why not? Like, nah, Brad Williams, he was definitely funny. Like, the energy that he brought on stage, his charisma. I love people that can laugh at themselves. They always say those are the, the, the best type of human beings to come around. And whenever you have an individual who's like, <clears throat> you know, a little person, right? Like, 
What what better comedian than a little person? Because their perspective of the world, we never get to really hear it unless you're just surrounded by them. Like I probably came across, maybe I could count on maybe two hands the amount of little people I've ever you know seen in my own actual real life, and then to speak to one, never, never, never. But just to see that one is actually funny as a comedian, it just it expands the respect value of just like these people are human too. These people are human too. And again, the courage that it takes to get on stage to do what he's doing, the average man probably couldn't do that. So a lot of respect for this guy. He actually made me laugh. I like him. I like him. And I'm going to be reacting to, some, to him some more. Appreciate you guys for rocking out. It's your boy, Evan King. Prepare to see my face again because this is what I do. Your boy's consistent. Until next time, Mamba out.